In this video, let's answer the question, why do perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes? So what I mean by this is the following. Suppose we have this equation, y equals 2 over 3x plus 1, which is just a linear equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. So we know the slope, which is just the m, and that's just 2 over 3. And if you want to have a slope of the line that's perpendicular to this line, well, the notation for that is m with an upside down d for perpendicular. This will be the opposite sign of this. This is positive, so we will have negative. And then we do the reciprocal of this, which we get 3 over 2. And that is it. But why though? Well, let me show you guys the graph and this will be really clear. Alright, let's go ahead and graph this equation. And to do so, we start with the one first. Because this right here tells us the y-intercept. So we go to the y-axis and then we go to 1. And then from this point, we look at the slope. 2 over 3, which tells us that 2 go up twice from here. And then the 3 tells us to move to the right 3 times. And then we will have our second point. Then we can just go ahead and connect the dots. And that will be the graph for this equation. Now. If we want to graph a line that's perpendicular to this, you can just imagine we take this line and rotate it 90 degrees to make it perpendicular. So what's going to happen is, earlier we started from here, we went up twice. Now, if we rotate it this way, vertical becomes horizontal, and we will just go from here, and then we go to the right two times. And then earlier, we went to the right three times, and right now we have to turn 90 degrees. So we will actually start from here and then we go down one, two, three, three times. From here, if we connect these two dots, then we can see this right here for sure is perpendicular. And the slope for this line in black, it was equal to up two to the right three, right? So two over three. And the slope for this line in blue, is the perpendicular slope. We actually went down three times. So the slope is negative three, and then we move to the right two times. So negative three over two. So they are negative reciprocal of each other. In another word, if you multiply this and that, you end up with negative one. Now, there's a special case if we have a horizontal line and a perpendicular line, which is going to be vertical. The slope of a horizontal line is zero, and the slope of a vertical line is technically undefined. That's it.